Gary Dahl, the pet rock inventor, passed away in the year 2015. However, his name will always feature in the list, Dumbest Way People Became Millionaires. If you want to know the results of following your dream, regardless of how crazy it is, you have to follow Gary Dahl's lifestyle. Bringing you more value per minute than any other entrepreneurial channel out there, or at least trying to. We would appreciate if you at least subscribe, like, and share this video. That would mean the world to us. What triggered the pet rock phenomenon? A few years ago, Gary Dahl, the pet rock inventor, was having a few drinks with his friends in Northern California. His drunk friends were complaining that they had to put in a lot of effort, time, and money to take care of their pets. While they loved having pets with them, they didn't like the work that they had to for their pets. This was when Gary Dahl came up with some silly pet rock ideas. He told his friends that if one had to do nothing despite having a pet, one has to opt for rock as a pet. Though the first seed of pet rock ideas was sown in this bar, it was all in pure jest. Gary Dahl admitted in an interview that this idea was nothing but a packaged sense of humor. The timing was perfect. The best part of this idea was that it was launched in the 1970s when there was a sense of discontent everywhere. Television had not yet started to rule the market, and most of the movies made during this time were psychotic thrillers. There wasn't a feel-good atmosphere anywhere in the country. This was when Gary Dahl came up with his idea of selling rocks as a pet. According to Dahl, he made a lot of money because of the pet rock profit his business generated. He knew that his idea made people laugh when there was negativity all over, thanks to the Vietnam War and Watergate episodes. The Packaging Who would buy rocks, you may think? However, there were many people lined up to buy the rocks that Dahl sold at around $4 a piece. Why? Thanks to his stint with advertising in the earlier years, Dahl knew that people would buy a product if it was packaged well. The rocks were polished and made to look like a visually appealing rock. The rock was then placed in a nest of hay so that it looked like a cute egg. Then came the most important part, packaging. The box, which was the main reason why Dahl made a lot of money through Pet Rock Profit, was chosen with great care. In an interview that he gave many years ago, Dahl confirmed that the main challenge in his business was to make the boxes. The holes in the carrying boxes were made with the help of die-cutting machines. These boxes were designed similar to the perforated pet boxes that contained holes for the pets to breathe. Every single box was packaged to perfection as it contained the words, this box contains one genuine pedigreed pet rock. During the 1970s, the media welcomed this business because it wanted something funny. The pet rock commercial was launched during this time to make many people aware of this affordable pet rock that would bring a smile to their lives. In this pet rock commercial, Walter Rockite stated why this pet rock would be a great addition in their lives and how to take care of the same. This box was priced at $3.95 per piece, which made it an affordable fad to invest in those days. Though this fad lasted for only about six months in 1975, Gary Dole had sold enough rocks to make close to $15 million, making him one of the top millionaires in the USA during that time. Pet Rock Manual Gary Dahl's tongue-in-cheek humor was intact when he launched the Pet Rock along with a 20-page Pet Rock Manual, which was titled, The Care and Training of Your Pet Rock Manual. In the manual, Dahl keeps his humor going as he advised people to take care of their imaginary pet while taking it out of the box and keeping it on old newspapers. The detailed manual and the business tricks were a few things that only Gary Dahl could pull off with such a lane and ease. Some Pet Rock names that were popular. Though this was not an intelligent choice of pets, pet rocks were considered to be hugely popular in the 1970s. They were so popular that people spent a lot of time researching pet rock names. Even today, these rocks are used as pets by some people. Rock Hudson, Rocky Balboa, Sandy, etc. were some of the popular names in the 1970s. Buying and selling pet rocks online. Today, you will find many brands selling rocks on eBay. These are the reproductions of the original Gary Dahl Pet Rocks brand that was launched in the 1970s. If you want to get an idea of how funny the original manual was, you can buy from the brands that are currently selling rocks on eBay. However, beware of fake brands as well. Inspired by Gary Dahl, if you too are searching for where can I sell my rocks near me and earn a lot of money on your computer, you need to first know what type of rock you have. Gone are the days when the fad of buying rocks as pets existed. Today, People will buy the rocks that you put up for sale only if it has some value in it. 
You will find many rock dealers near you when you are looking for, where can I sell my rocks near me? If you own a valuable rock, you can sell them to these dealers at a good price. Today, the pet rocks feature consistently in the 10 most ridiculous things bought by billionaires. Surely, because of the absurdity of the concept, the pet rock trademark is owned by a company called Rosebud Entertainment. These rocks can be purchased at $19.95 apiece. Do you also know of any other weird product like this to make money? Use the Shopify store to sell your products using brilliant marketing strategies to earn a lot of money. Nothing was as successful as the pet rock business for Gary Dahl. Though Gary cashed in on the overall negative ambiance in America when launching his pet rocks business, he couldn't replicate his success in his other ventures. It is believed that Dahl made almost 95% profit on each unit of pet rock that was sold in the 1970s. He sold close to 1.5 million rocks in that period. You can do the math for yourself to know how much he earned during this period, though it was only a short time fad that lasted for a few months. Why it became popular Many people bought the pet rocks to read the funny instructions that Dahl mentioned in his training manual. The manual contained instructions for people to keep their pet disciplined. The book also stated that the pets couldn't be trained to follow the stand command since they didn't have any feet. However, they could be trained to follow other commands like sit, stay, etc. The manual also said that you could also teach your pets obedience commands such as roll over, attack, play dead, etc. While the straw and the rock cost almost nothing to acquire, Dahl spent a little bit of money in designing the boxes and the die cutting process. Thanks to the puns and jokes in the manual, the pet rocks instigated a lot of interest in the minds of people those days. This business earned so much of success that Gary Dahl appeared on The Tonight Show many times to talk about how this business started as a joke. He also said that many investors tried to mimic the pet rocks with products such as pet stick, pet poop, etc. However, Dahl told the media with a lot of confidence that none of the mimicked products was able to impress him. People all over the world were jealous that Dahl could earn millions with an idea as silly as inventing the pet rocks. That inspired others to come up with dumber ideas and earn millions in one shot so that they would never have to work again. Selling an Emotion Experts were right when they analyzed the reasons behind Dahl's success motive. They confirmed that Dahl became a millionaire overnight not because he sold a product, but because he sold an emotion. He timed his moves perfected and launched his funny invention at a time when the moods of Americans were at an all-time low. One of the best things about Gary Dahl was that he remained grounded, even though his silly idea helped him earn millions. When his pet rocks fad vanished after six months, he didn't feel depressed. He moved on to try other different things. That's the thing that one has to learn from him. Yes, he was brave enough to put a crazy idea into action, but he was braver in not letting his success get to his head. Gary Dahl passed away on 23rd March 2015 at the age of 78. The world lost a true marketing legend with his passing. He taught us an important lesson that the packaging of the product that we intend to sell is the most important thing that we should focus on. We hope Dahl's story inspired many other people to chase their crazy dreams, earn millions, and remain humble. Bringing you more value per minute than any other entrepreneurial channel out there, or at least trying to. We would appreciate if you at least subscribe, like, and share this video. That would mean the world to us.